Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Played around and decided to do e-girl makeup because I'm 30 and it's a Sunday. I can look even more like one if I put this hat on. Mmm. There we go. But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually my contemporary thon TBR. I have five books here that I would like to read in seven days. Do I think that I'm gonna do it? No, I don't. But some of these double up on challenges, I always encourage people to double up, triple up, quadruple up, whatever you wanna do for um, contemporary thon because I'm not stopping you. Julie's not stopping you. Chelsea's not gonna stop you. So yeah, let's get this going. I'm take this hat off now because this hat is stupid. Do I own it? Yes. Is it stupid? Also yes. So like I said, a lot of these challenges double up, so I will be mentioning what books hit what challenges. But the first one is to read a contemporary book with green on the cover. What I want to read is Bear Town by Frederick Backman. And um, Frederick Backman actually next challenge is to read a new to you author. I have like six of his books on my shelves, have not read them, and so I'm intrigued because I've heard that they're good, I see them everywhere, everyone seems to really like them, and I just think that this is the right time of year to pick up Bear Town while there's still snow on the ground and this is all about um, hockey season. Some of the other books on here have green as well but this is the one that I'm going with. So this is a contemporary with green on the cover, a new to me author, um, this is also a backlist contemporary, so something, I believe this has been on my TBR for over a year. It feels like that, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, also a dark and hard-hitting contemporary, because I believe that this deals with sexual assault as well, so all of those. So the second challenge is to read a contemporary from a new to you author. Uh, Bear Town hits that as well as some other ones in here, so I'm gonna move on to the next challenge. Pretty much most of the authors here are new to me, except for one. Um, so pretty much all of them are new. If I read one book, I got that checked. So the third one is to read a diverse contemporary, keeping in mind that it is Black History Month. So I actually have two here. Um, I have Jackpot by Nick Stone, and this is about a high school senior, I believe, who wins the lottery. So this talks about class and race. This is the ARC copy that I have, but I believe that the finished copy of this is also illustrated. So you can double up on that if you have the finished copy as well. The second one that I picked for diverse is Watch Us Rise um, by Renee. Watson and Ellen Hagen. Also, this hits some other challenges. This is a new to me author. Um, this is diverse, I believe, in content. I'm not 100% sure yet. This is also a sort of hard hitting contemporary, focusing a lot on feminism and the feminist movement, so I'm excited about that. That's another one that hits several challenges. Or is to read a backlist contemporary that is going to be Bear Town for me, but also the one that I'm picking now. See, I have several that hit several challenges. That is Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. Demetrius? Demetrios? I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Um, this is one that I've been meaning to read for so long. It's one of the most incredibly beautiful covers. Absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It hits the challenges of a book with green on the cover, a new to me author, a backless contemporary, a dark and heart hitting contemporary. I believe this discusses a lot of domestic abuse, so trigger warnings for that. And also beloved by the book community. I think Julie really liked this one, I believe, if I'm remembering correct. It hits several challenges, I'm gonna try to read it. Number five is to read a dark or hard hitting contemporary, and that's most of these. That's gonna be Bad Romance, Bear Town, Really all of these can be considered sort of hard hitting. Not necessarily dark, but definitely hard hitting. Six is to read a contemporary with an illustrated cover. Again, that is gonna be Watch Us Rise. I believe Jackpot, the final one, has one too. Um, but I picked another book, which is American Road Trip. This is a road trip book, you guys know. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in books, period, is road trip books. I just love them. It's a new to me author. It's dark and hard hitting. It has everything that I'm hoping to love, and I haven't seen anybody read this, so I want to. But yeah, that is all of the challenges, really. I doubled up on them, for sure. Um, like I said, do I think I'm gonna read all five of these in seven days? I don't know, but then again, my January, when I'm filming this, is going really, really well, so it's a possibility. It's a possibility. But these are the five books that I'm planning to read for Contemporary Thon, let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these, uh, what your general TBR is. Also, there is a giveaway in this video. I forgot to mention that. If you've watched all the way to the end, here's the giveaway. So for the giveaway, you have to be following me on my social media, which is 
YouTube, so please be subscribed to me. Leave me a comment of your favorite diverse read that you've read in the last couple of years. So just leave it in a comment down below. You'll automatically be entered to win a $25 uh, gift card, uh, book of your choice to book depository. Just make sure that they ship to your country and make sure that I have a way to contact you. Um, that is either by username, make sure that I'm able to find you somewhere and uh, get that delivered to you. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video and until my next one, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.